All right, everybody, happy Monday. You made it. You made it back, and hopefully you made it through your day. So let's get into it. I see people are in the chat. Some people, Edgar's been here all day. He's been hanging out. I appreciate that, Edgar. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Let's let's go into the cafe here. Let's go and see what's going on in, in the cafe. I just chill out, you know, on Monday. Let's go slow. Let's not hurt ourselves. So what's up, everybody? Hope you had an amazing weekend. You're checking. You're in tune to smart. Let me do some shameless plugs before we get going. Everybody needs a little advertisement in their lives. No, we're on YouTube. And let me pull that up right there. There we go. Our new yeah. All right. Cool. I'm more of a Spotify guy. Oh look, there I am, right there. So there we go. We're checking it out. You can check us out just by doing that SMRT style, and you'll come here and you'll see how awesome we are and how we're kicking butt. And look at all those subscribers. Awesome people hanging out every day, and we're live right now. You can talk about bucket lists. You can talk about Sean and his amazing uh, hairstyle, glasses, and uh, soothing voice. I feel like you could go to sleep listening to Sean. Would you like to get a little taste of what Sean sounds like? And maybe after this advertisement we'll get a little idea. But he's got an amazing voice. I, I've heard he actually modulates his voice to make it sound uh, more comfortable for the students. Let's listen to Sean. Welcome to the first Smart Live class. Look at that handsome guy, eh? Very excited to be here. Uh, yeah, I'm Sean. Very excited. I'm teacher for today. Yeah. For the next uh, 45 minutes or so. Uh, we've got... Look at that guy. It's charming, eh? Really what do you nice. think? Lane, who's the Man, I want to have class with Sean. Moderator. Look at that guy. I feel like I could just sit there and listen to him all day. He's a charming Canadian, unlike some other Canadians you might know. All right, let's let's uh, let's stop looking at Sean, even though he's damn good looking, and let's say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to the people in the chat. Let's start with Edgar. You're here. You're number one, brother. You did it. You're on top of the world. Dana, what's up? You're number two. Well done. Welcome to the chat. Julian's number three. Julian, you are slipping, and Lolly has been dethroned because Lolly came in much later. But that's okay. We love you all still, and happy you're here. Mokhtar's in the house. What's up, Mokhtar? How you doing? Hello, Ashley Richards. I really hope to work on pre-grammar. I guess you mean pre-intermediate grammar. I would love to do that with you, Ashley, but unfortunately it's not going to be today because I've already chosen a topic today. Hopefully you're going to enjoy that topic as well. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Who else is smart? English. I'm in the house. Hello, everybody. Uh, Areej. Hello, Areej. You're with us again. Sweet. Areej is back. Uh, what else? Gertrudis. Hello, Gertrudis. How you doing when you come into Vancouver? I know. I'm still waiting. Uh, Judith is there. Hello, Judith. How you doing? Uh, all right. I think we got we got a crew. All right, we got the Monday crew. You guys, I appreciate you coming to hang out with me and Sean over here. So let's get into it. Let's get it started. Here we go. Uh, there it is. So there's the document right there. Please make a copy of that because this is exactly what we're going to be talking about today. We are going to be talking about this. So let me make this a little bigger for your viewing pleasure. And let's jump, bump that up a little bit. So let me hit you with a question of the day, because who doesn't want one of those? All right, so here we go. Here's what we're going to talk about today. I want you to do this for me. I would like you to write down three people who changed the world in a positive or negative way. You can do whatever you want. So let me throw that, that in the chat. This is what, uh, hello, Jose. What's up, brother? Uh, so that's what I'd like you to do today. I would like you to tell us about three people who changed the world in a positive or a negative way. And I would also like you to do your best to explain what did they do. So you can Google this. If you got some idea about this, you can go ahead. But go ahead and give us your thoughts on one person you think who, ch who is changing the world or has changed the world. Uh, okay, let's change that. Who is changing? or has changed. I want both. You can do someone who's alive or you can do someone who died. Both are both are fine. Okay, so this is the warm-up topic today. So give us someone who you think uh, has influenced the world in a positive way or a negative way. So let's do a little quick chat. People who change the world. All right, and you get a lot of topics here. You get a lot of people you can talk about. So go ahead, go off to the internet. Maybe you need a little assistance. That's cool. Let's, I'm going to look at a few images. And uh, get me going while I wait for a few answers. There's a bunch of people there. All right, so there we go. Maybe you know some of these people, maybe you don't. We're going to talk about a few of them today. Uh, play a little game, a little trivia game. And I'm also going to get you guys to do a little bit of this. And you tell me about some famous people that you're interested in, not just the ones that I'm throwing at you here. All right, so let's see what we got here. 
Ricardo, what's up, Ricardo? Uh, he says, Stephen Paul Jobs was an American business magnet. Good. I'm going to have to check my dictionary because I know this word magnet, but I'm not that amazing at vocab. So a wealthy and influential persis, person. This is perfect because we can use this vocabulary today, which is going to be awesome. So let me pull up that list there. And I think I'm going to have to move that up. Anyways, uh, magnet is a good word. Here's a new word for you. Magnate. Uh, so magnet, a wealthy and influential person, especially in business. Awesome word, useful. Boom, there it is. All right, so he was a business magnet and investor, so somebody who invests money, right? Um, what else can we say? He was the chairman, so he was, uh, he was one of the people in charge, one of the bosses, chief executive officer and co-founder. Uh, co-founder is he, maybe you guys know this word, a co-founder. Co is like two people together, and a founder is someone who created something. Like who created McDonald's? Who was the founder? So a co-founder is like two people created together. So he was one of the co-founders. One of two people who helped create a business. There we go. All right, good, good stuff. Let me move that up because I'm going to need that closer. All right, so like I said, uh, if you're, I think you guys, uh, everyone knows what to do here. Anyways, I'm going to put this up a little bit closer and keep it coming. Give us a few examples. Go to the internet. Tell us, uh, find somebody famous that you'd like to learn about because we're going to do this later as well. So let me bring that up there. All right, so there we go. Next, uh, Julian says, thump. <laughs> I guess that's Trump. Change the world by hate and not allowing Mexicans to come to the USA. Okay, so there we go. Abinash, show up versus show up. He comes for, he's got phrasal verb. Julian, I'm going to get you. Yeah, thank you, Julian. Julian's already on it. Please please help Abinash out with his questions, and I'll do my best to it. If you can't do it, then I think you can handle all of it. Uh, all right, so next one. Judas says, uh, Bill Gates, Paul Allen. Paul Allen, who died one week ago. Paul Allen, comma, who died one week ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Paul Allen, who died one week ago. Micro and new sentence. Uh, Microsoft was started by two people. No, with, by two people. Mm, sentence is a little bit mixed there. I'm guessing it's Paul Allen, who died one week ago. Helped to start Microsoft, comma, who he was a co-founder. I'm not too sure. Something like that. Uh, Lolly Freud, the father of psychoanalysis. Check your spelling. A N A L Y S I S. Change the world forever. Forever, one word. Hello, Angelo. If you're new here, here's what we're doing. I'm going to give you a copy of this document. I would like you to make a cop. Oops, that's not it. That's not what I wanted to do. Give me a second here, Angelo. So, yeah, there he is. All right. So, if if you're new to the chat, Angelo, this is how we do it. I'm going to give you a copy of this document. You can make a copy of it, and that way you'll be able to follow everything we're doing and get any new vocab that we're talking about today. Talking about famous people, who do you think are some influential people who impacted the world? Uh, do a little search on them or tell us about someone you know. Uh, Ziad says uh, he dedicated, uh, Nelson Mandela, he dedicated his life to the fight against apartheid. Good word. Uh, apartheid is a separation between white people and black people. So you're going to get some new vocab from today for sure. Apartheid. And I believe it's separation by law. No? Apartheid? Apartheid. Yeah, a policy or system of separating segregation on the grounds of race. There we go. Uh, a policy or system of separation. There you go. Apartheid. So there we go. Nelson Mandela, he dedicated his life. Nice combination as well. Dedicate your life to something. So dedicate, dedicate your life. This is perfect for talking about famous people, right? Because usually they dedicate their lives to some goal. Uh, so dedicate your life to something. That's what that means. Um, I don't know. Put all your time, use all your time for one goal, one purpose. There we go. Nice combo. 
Okay, so there we go. Nelson Mandela dedicated his life to the fight against apartheid, a policy which kept black and white South Africans apart and denied black citizens the vote. Denied, maybe you guys know this word, of course. Deny is like say no. You, you're not allowed to do something. Okay, so there we go. Very nice. Good person to talk about. What else we got here? Julian said, Kent is a magnate who brings love and knowledge to the world. Unfortunately, I'm not a magnate because by definition, a magnate has to be rich, a wealthy, <laughs> influential person. And I'm afraid my wealth is not at an all-time high. And my influence is limited to you guys who I love and appreciate, but I don't think I fit the category, buddy. But thank you very much. I, I appreciate that. Uh, all right, uh, next one, Andrew, somebody who invented the toilet. That's a useful one, I agree. Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a joke there somewhere, just not getting it, it's Monday, but yeah, um, great invention. Next one, see it's got another, Adolf Hitler was Germany's leader from 1933 to 1945, during which he led the war into the most devastating war. There we go. Let's put that in there. Devastating is uh, a lot of destruction, right? Devastating. Causing a lot of harm and destruction, usually. There we go, a devastating war. Yes, that's true. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, Thomas Edison. Yeah, Najat, I think you almost got E-D-I-S-O-N, but yes, correct. Uh, Najat says he's a great man, he, period. He created electricity. You gotta check your spelling there, but yes, you are right. Uh, Ricardo says the Dalai Lama is the head monk of the Tibetan Buddhism, of Tibetan Buddhism, yeah, there we go, and traditionally has been responsible for the governing of Tibet. Govern, control, government, right? Good word there. Govern, control, by control using by way of government okay so there we go um, where was he here responsible for the governing of Tibet until the Chinese took control uh, in 1959 uh, Ziad Einstein was one of the greatest of all uh, physicists and his name has become a symbol of genius good word a symbol right because you would say a symbol of peace a symbol of genius a symbol of something so let's do that. Mm -hmm. So it's a collocation, a good collocation, a symbol of, a sign, or message. Boom. Okay, uh, so when his most famous work, The General Theory of Relativity, was proven in 19. Gertrudis, I'm working hard today, but the next week I will see him. Work hard, everybody's got to work sometimes. Good luck. See you next week, Gertrudis. Munira, what's up? Uh, flowers and maple leaves. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to the class. We're talking about famous people around the world. Uh, famous people who influenced history. Basharat. Hello. Mother Teresa is inspirational. Yes, I agree. Uh, what did she do? Give us a little info. Judith, Paul Allen, comma, who died one week, no S, ago, comma, was the founder of along with, that's a weird one, along with Bill Gates of Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft started, Microsoft started in 1975. There we go. Uh, next one, uh, Ashley, Donald Trump deprecates, deprecates the country's image. Deprecate, I think the word you want is deprecate, maybe just a bit of a spelling issue here. Deprecate, what's the word? Deprecate, there we go. Mm hmm is it the right meaning deprecate so deprecate is generally deplore abhor mm -hmm. deprecates the country's image disapprove so he doesn't deplores doesn't it's kind of like um frown it's like a frown like this when you do something like or have a bad view do you think uh trump has a bad view of the United States, or you want to say he creates a negative view. So I think it's not exactly the right word. Depreciates, no, he deprecates the value. 
It deprecates the country. Oh, okay, there we go. So the number two does work. Okay, sorry. You're right. You got it. Uh, deprecate is okay. So making making a worse image. So let's add that one. Deprecate. Uh, making a bad image something. Okay, there we go. Deprecate, creating a bad image. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Skip, 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 skip. Going down. Judith, uh, Sigmund Freud, an, an Austrian neurologist who founded psychoanalysis. Oh my goodness. Founded, create. There's another word for you. Similar. I think we did that one or a similar co-founder, there we go, uh, which involved comma, which involved the investigation of the subconscious dreams and the human mind, maybe. Okay, there we go, interesting. Uh, all right, so we go, Manir is trying to change the world. I hope you succeed. Uh, let's do one more. Uh, Karl Marx's ideas on economic history and sociology changed the world. Marx was a social philosopher who attacked the state and predicted a future in which everyone was equal. All right, there we go. Yeah, Karl Marx is a big one as well. All right, uh, one more, Julian. Let's do his. John F. Kennedy helped the locals for rights of blacks and whites to be together in work, house, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. All right, so here we go. Let's jump in. So what I'm going to do, I got a little quiz for you. I'm going to jump into this. So here we go. Uh, if you go to the reading section here, uh, you're going to do this. You're going to read the following description. I'm going to give you a few descriptions of some famous people in history here. Uh, so you're going to read that and then I want you to read them, understand the vocab which I'm going to help you to understand and then I want you to try to guess uh, which person which person uh, this description is about. So let me put these instructions in there. So number one, please do this. Read the following descriptions of famous figures. Figures are people in history. Read them, understand them. Read the vocabulary, understand it. Do that. Okay, and then try to guess which person uh, the descriptions are talking about. I have deleted the names, so you cannot use the names. You can read the description, uh, but you cannot see the names of the people that I'm talking about. So I'll put this, I'll see if I can put this in the chat as well. Let's make that a little smaller and make that a little bigger. All right, so what I'd like you to do is read this and you tell me the name of the person that we're talking about here. All right, so who is this person? Uh, I'm going to disappear for maybe one sec and let's see if this will make it more clear. This person dedicated almost all their life to helping poor, 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 more? No, nope. helping poor, poor, ill, and disabled people and orphans. Disabled, what does that mean? Disabled means you have a problem with your arm, you have a problem with your with your leg, right? So when you have a wheelchair, you are disabled. Or if you had a problem with your arm, maybe you didn't have an arm, that would be a disability. And orphans, orphans are people who are children who don't have parents. So another word as well. And again, there's that word we used earlier, dedicated. Dedicated to. Boom, nice combination. This person founded, and here's another word that we used earlier, awesome, this is working out well, founded the Missionaries of Charity, a Roman Catholic religious congregation. Congregation is, you can think of as, as a group, a group of people in a church, in a Catholic church, I believe, which is now active, busy, doing things in most countries of the world. Also, this person was the winner of the 1997 Nobel Peace Prize. This person was canonized. Here's a new word. I think I'll have to Google that. In 2016, 19 years after her death by Pope, Pope Francis. Answer was, who was the first person to get the answer? It was Basharat. You are the winner. You got it. The answer, correct answer was Mother Teresa. And everyone else was there as well. Uh, the first one's not bad. It's a little bit easier, but don't worry. They're going to get harder. The, the quiz will get harder. So here's a few new words that you can use. Disabled, when you have a problem with your arm or leg. Uh, it also could be a mental problem, not only a physical problem. Orphans, uh, children who don't have parents. Founded, created, congregation is like a group, and canonized, I think I'm going to have to Google this. It's kind of like immortalized, I believe. Canonize. Hmm. Oh, okay. 
it's a uh, it's for the church in the Roman Catholic Church somebody says you are a saint and a saint is a very important person in the church or you might be given a lot of significance people say you are very important but I think it's the first meaning that we're after in the Roman Catholic Church you are officially declared they say you are a saint so you are one of the most important people in the religion that lived all right so that was number one let's jump into number two who is this person so let's jump in here person number two so here we go who is this person one of the most influential figures and again figures are mean people so let's let's highlight that influential figures of the 20th century this person is best known for their nonviolent campaign no fighting no no guns no nonviolent right nonviolent campaign and what is a campaign a campaign is when a lot of people get together and they they have one one idea here so a campaign against racism okay so racism I don't like you because you're white or I don't like you because you're black or yellow or whatever people say uh, this person also received a 1964 Peace Prize their vision of society in which race again being white or black was not important in how people were treated inspired gave motivation gave spirit to lots of people all over the world this person also played a key role this is a good good combination of words was important for uh, the advancement of civil rights using nonviolent civil disobedience uh, this is a good combination here civil like um, like like peaceful and disobedience not listening so based on his Christian beliefs and Gandhi's philosophy I saw you had the answer earlier but I had to keep going for the vocab uh, winner is Lolly Martin Luther King was the correct answer uh, this man here if you don't know Martin Luther King let me pull up a photo of the man I think it's right up here there he is this man right here Martin Luther King was uh, that was the answer that we were looking at there that man right there great speechwriter great orator right a person who is able to give good speeches awesome very nice Lolly is in the game She's got the point. Next one. Who is this person? Let's pump this up a little bit. Number three. Oops. Here we go. Number three. Should be getting a little bit harder now. Who is this person? Uh, this person won the hearts. Ooh, nice combination. Won the hearts of millions. Right? Like a, you know, became really popular. Everybody loved this person. All over the world through their hard charity work. Okay, so charity, right? Uh, helping people who need help, helping sick people, helping poor people. Uh, they devoted, good word, devoted, give, give a lot of your time, much of their short life. Ah, no, delete, delete. Uh, I think I gave away the answer. This person died in a car accident at the age of 36. Um, to helping poor people in developing countries <sighs> I think I gave it away a leader of a Nobel Peace Prize winning campaign again there's that word campaign when a lot of people organize together to ban landmines ban is stop and landmines I will google that so you know what that looks like hopefully we don't get any bad photos here but a landmine is like when you have a bomb in the ground that's called a landmine and mine. Uh, don't don't give me anything bad. Okay, there we go. So that's what it is. Uh, bomb in the ground, right? When you step on it. So there we go. Okay, we got it. You guys got it pretty fast. Uh, nice one, Tia Lina. You were on it. Uh, there we go. They were involved. This person. They were involved with dozens. Uh, this is a good one. Supporting, helping, involved with dozens of charities and nonprofit organizations. All right, there you guys go. Very nice. You're on it. Last one. This is a, I don't know if everyone will get this one, but hopefully. Let's find out. I tried to make this one a little bit harder. Here we go. Next one. Who is this person? This person was an opportunistic, opportunistic, looking for opportunities, businessman. And also this person was a member of the Nazi party uh, and a spy. You guys know a spy, right? James Bond, spy and spy known for womanizing here's a new word for you you probably never heard this before womanize 
is no and womanize is like when you when you spend when guys usually guys spend a lot of time with women talking to women trying to be with women that's called womanizing so he was known for womanizing and excessive too much drinking which looks like anything but the background of a hero it doesn't look like a hero but yet despite all his flaws his problems his imperfections he had many problems he proved to be a truly inspirational again there's that word uh, helping people to change their mind or change their goal as he is credited oh, let me get that in there credited with People say he did this, credited with. People say he saved the lives of about 1,200 Jews during the, Kalaho the Kalahost, the Holocaust, by employing them in his factory. So he brought Jewish people into his companies, his factories. And this person's brave story, heroic story, uh, has been documented and celebrated in many books and films. And I think we got an answer. It's not Hitler, because remember, it said this person is credited with saving the lives, not murdering, but saving the lives of about 1,200 Jews. Uh, Lolly had it. It was Schindler. Uh, I believe his name was Oscar, Oscar Schindler. So let's take a look at this guy. Oscar Schindler. You know the movie. You've seen the movie Schindler's List. And there was, it was about the man, uh, Oscar Schindler, who had some bad qualities. But apparently he also saved a lot of Jewish people uh, as well. So there you go. So there you go. If you haven't seen Schindler's List, awesome movie. A little bit dark, hard to watch many times. There you go. Everybody else is caught up there. So there we go. Oscar Schindler is who I was talking about. That's the winning one right there. So if you want a link, you can always ch check out anything here. Um, so for example, here all I did was I took some of these ones and I changed the name. So what you guys can do... I would like you to do the same thing. Let's play a little game, shall we? And the game is this. I want you to do the same thing that I did. I want you to go on the internet and I want you to choose any person who is, who is having now or has had in the past a big impact on the world, a big influence on the world. And I want you to do the same thing that I did. I want you to find a short description of this person and I want you to present this person into the chat. Okay, but I don't want you to use where it says here, do not, do not write the person's name in your description. You can say this person, this person, or they, T-H-E-Y. He or she is they also. So you can use that. So what you're going to do is you're going to post a famous person from anywhere in the world. It could be your country. Uh, it could be, you know, just anyone from history or now. And I want you to post it into the chat and we're go everyone's going to read it and we're going to do our best to guess who are you talking about. Okay, so let me put that in there, but that's what I want you to do. You go on the internet and you want you to find a famous person who impacted the world, positive or negative. Okay, so here's part one. Hello, Hytham. Hello, hello, hello. I'm just giving you a, a homework assignment here, so go ahead, check this out. This is what I'd like you to do. So that's part of it. All right, so this is what I want you to do. Find a famous person. It can be a new person. It could be an old person. Uh, and then I want you to and give us some new vocab. So you can go to the internet. You can Google stuff. I want to get some new vocab that we can use to talk about famous people around the world. So that's your activity. Go to the internet and do it. All right, so Ricardo's already on it. Let's see. So this person was a German-born theoretical physicist who developed the theory of relativity, one of the two pillars of modern physics. Uh, Ricardo, I think I know the answer to that one, buddy, but thank you very much, because you did introduce some really good vocab. So let's put that vocab in, and I'll wait for the answer. So you guys, you feel free to answer Ricardo's. I think I know the answer, but uh, go ahead, jump in, and you can answer his as well. Uh, I just want to give that the two pillars, the two important people of modern physics. So let's write that. Where's my vocab list? Uh, the two pillars of something. How did he say it? One of two pillars of modern physics. Felt theory of relativity. Yeah. One of two. Pillars. Pillars. I'll just put pillars. Uh, important. Important what? Do that. Yes, yes. Here we go. 
a person or thing regarded as reliably providing essential. <laughs> it's so difficult when you read these explanations, it doesn't make sense. Um, regarded as reliably providing essential support for something. Pillar, important thing. There we go. I'm going to use the easy teacher answer. Important things, pillars, pillars of society, for example. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's see what else we got. Edgar's in here. He's got one. So again, remember, uh, I want I want a description. I want you to go out there and find a, a description, not just one word. Don't and don't tell us who the person is. Just go out there and find a description. Uh, Edgar's got one. This person is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and television personality. So a TV personality. This is good. This person is a TV personality. Uh, famous person on TV. Okay. Born in Staten Island, New York, and raised in Pennsylvania, she appeared on the television series Star Search and the Mickey Mouse Club. Ooh. I'll be honest, guys, I'm not the best at trivia. Uh, I, I got a guess of who this could be. I'm going to say Edgar. So let's start with Edgar's here. I'm going to just copy yours, and I'm going to put it back. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put it on my paper so we can all do this at the same time. So let's see what he had here. So this was Edgar's here, an American singer, songwriter. I think I know the answer, but I'm not quite sure. Singer, songwriter, TV personality. I'm going to say, has anyone else got an answer for this? So again, we'll, I'm going to start talking about some of these. Try to bring some answers in. But I'm going to say, Edgar, it was uh, Britney Spears. Is it is an American singer songwriter actress? So it's a woman. Uh, 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 born in Staten Island, New York, raised in Pennsylvania. Is it Britney Spears? Uh, well, I'm not the only one. No, it's not Britney Spears. Okay. Does anyone else want to give a shot on this? So Edgar's got his up here. I'm I'm horrible at trivia. I'll be honest. I'm not the guy you want to go to the bar with for trivia night. Pretty bad at it. But it's not Britney Spears, so who else could it be? Like Katy Perry or something like that? It's got to be a pop singer, that's all I can tell. She has the most powerful voice in the world. Powerful voice. She worked at The Voice. <laughs> I don't watch enough TV, Edgar. I think you're going to go ahead, buddy, give us the answer because I, I'm, I'm not going to get it. and I haven't seen anyone else give an answer yet. So what, do you, what is it? Who was it? It's... Uh, Oh, here, Tia Lina's in it. She sings beautifully. Fighter? It's not Beyonce, is it? Powerful voice. Selena Gomez. Here we go. Here's the answers coming in. Julian, Selena Gomez? <laughs> I'm about to search. I don't know, man. I'm giving up. Christina Aguilera? That sounds good. That sounds. She's got a powerful voice, right? Ash I think Ashley's got it. What is it? Bad Bunny? Who's that? Give it to us, Edgar. I have no idea. No idea who you're talking about. Uh, Sergio, we are talking about famous people in history. And uh, just come on in. We're doing a little game right now. We're seeing what we're getting some answers. Yes, Christina is Christina Aguilera, not Bad Bunny, right? Okay, so there we go. Ashley, Ashley's got a point on that one. Very nice. No, it's too late, Oxa. Christina Aguilera is the answer. Ashley wins. Congratulations, Ashley. All right, let's do another one. Let's see. I'm going to do the next one was... Uh, Okay, I'm going to do Julian's next. So Julian's got one here. So let me, I'll post this again here. So there we go. That was Julian's and I'm going to post it on here as well. So here's what he said. This person was in need. What does it say? This person, this, per, this historical person was need in of need in I'm not sure what that means need in of World War two also he helped the race of rights he oh yeah you got to check your I, I would copy from the <laughs> internet Julian you got a few mistakes there buddy also he helped the race of rights he was almost he was assassinated assassinated near his wife so here we go new sentence also he helps he helped the race of rights I don't know what the race of rights is uh, okay, so here we go. This is the one we're talking about. Um, guys, go ahead. What do you think? Do you know the answer to this one? 
this this per this historical person was need in. Well, you're gonna have to explain that, Julian. What does it mean? Was need in World War II? Ronald Reagan is that the one here? That's the answer we got going here. Uh, Julian, you you there, buddy? What do we got here? Uh, this this first sentence needs a little more. Ex yeah, I agree. I need more <laughs> details too. This historical person was something something in World War II. Also helped the race of rights. Assassinated near his wife. Oh, oh, of course, it's John F. Kennedy. Who said that? Did it? No, not Ronald Reagan. Is John F. Kennedy guaranteed? John F. Uh, okay, I don't think it's called the race of rights. Uh, but that's definitely JFK, of course, assassinated near his wife uh, in the car, right? That famous footage. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, not that one. Teacher gets a point in the game. Finally, I got a point. I don't usually get points. Next one, let's go ahead. Who had the next one? Ashley had the next one. Here we go. So let's throw Ashley's in the chat here. So here's the next one, guys. And I'll throw it here as well. All right, from Seattle. Oh, yeah, I know this one. I'm sure. Oh, or maybe I don't. Ashley says, from Seattle, this person started a huge trend. And if you don't know this word, trend, it means uh, a lot of people are doing this. Everybody's doing the same thing. It's a trend, a uh, hair trend, a fashion trend. Started a trend in the music industry and was very innovative. Innovative is another way to say creative. Uh, and this person raised awareness against rape. Raise awareness is a good col good collocation. It means uh, help people to understand, help people to know, and put information into the public so people people see it. You raise awareness against rape. And she's from Seattle. All right, so that's the next one. Lady Gaga, is she from Seattle? I don't really listen to Gaga. Uh, but Edgar's got that. What do you guys think? Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, so what do you guys think? That's it's on the board. It's on the it's on the computer here. This person from Seattle started a huge trend. What's the trend? I'm curious. In the music industry, it was very creative. That sounds like Gaga. Raised awareness. Dana's got no clue. Given up here. Raised awareness against. Right. Yeah, it's of course it's Gaga. Yeah, Edgar, you're totally right. I think Edgar's got it. Uh, Ashley, is that the correct answer? Is it Lady Gaga? It's got to be because it was against rape. I remember seeing her on TV. She was doing songs. Uh, she was doing. She had some women on stage with her. I'm sure it's Gaga. Yeah, Edgar, I think you got the point here, buddy. Lady Gaga, uh, raising what? Raising awareness. Maybe this will yield some good photos. There's Gaga. There she is. Anyways, I'm sure that's the answer. No. Oh. Committed suicide. Oh, geez. Oh, no, I really don't. Seattle. Raising awareness against rape. Committed suicide. Woman. She's from Queens. Seattle or Queens? She's from New York. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Mondays and Thursdays, eh? I don't know. You know what? Actually, I give up. I have no idea. Uh, give us the answer because I'm from, from New York. Seattle. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm out. I, I give up. Edgar said Gaga. I thought it was Gaga. It's not Gaga. Who could it be? Give us the answer, Ashley. We want to figure it out. Did he? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I was thinking Kurt Cobain as soon as you said it. But did he raise awareness against rape? I didn't, I've never heard that. I, that's why I thought it was Lady Gaga, because I had heard stuff about her. But yeah, Kurt Cobain. I just drove through uh, Aberdeen, which is uh, Kurt Cobain's hometown. And uh, they don't really advertise a lot, because obviously he committed suicide. But I did not know he raised awareness against rape. There we go. Okay, boom. That's it. Stun. Sure it was Gaga, but obviously it's not. All right, next one. Let's go. Who's got the next one? Munir has got one. Let's jump in and give Munir us. So here we go. Here's the next one. Munir has one here. I don't know if anyone's answered this already. Uh, he became head of the Soviet Union. He changed long-standing policy. So head of the Soviet Union is the like the boss, basically. So he became head of the Soviet Union. He changed long-standing, 
Long-standing policies. The policies, the laws didn't change for a long time. Long-standing policies that would eventually lead to cause. You can think of lead to as cause, almost create. The breakup, uh, destruction, separation of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War. All right, so that's your, that's your quiz. What is the answer? It's, <laughs> it's not Arnold Schwarzenegger. Gorbachev, my neighbor. Albina, I, I believe Albina's probably got the answer if it's her neighbor. Uh, so Munira, can you confirm that? Is that the correct answer? Is it Gorbachev who did this? Uh, pockmarked head, yeah, a little bit. Uh, okay, so what it, Munira, yes, there we go, winner. All right, Albina, you know it. You got the answers. You kicked butt. Very nice. Uh, let's go ahead. Next one here. It's taking a long time for me to do this, uh, but let's go down here. Where? What's the next one here? Two, 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 two. So that was Munira's. Let's go here. Who's got the next one? I think Judith has the next one. Perhaps the most famous scientist. I don't know. I don't know, is that an easy, as a child? Oh, okay, let's do, okay, let's do Judas here, because I'm not sure if it's an easy answer, or if it's a hard one. So let's do that. So here's the first part, and then there's a second part as well. All right, so here's the next one. That one there, and this one here. Alright, so let's read that one out. Let me just make that bigger. Alright, so perhaps the most famous scientist and mathematician in history. What's the name, I guess? This person had a number of interesting and possibly telling characteristics. Uh, telling, kind of showing information. Like, uh, like when you play poker and your eye goes like twitch, twitch, twitch. Uh, that's telling. It's easy to know. And characteristics, uh, maybe qualities, personality traits. As a child, he experienced severe, severe is strong, and speech delays. So basically, this person spoke very slow. Maybe they had to think a long time before they could speak. And later, echolalia, echolalia, which is something to do with echoes, I imagine. Oh, okay. Or the habit of repeating sentences. So this person would talk to themselves, talk to themselves, talk to themselves. Ooh, okay, so it's not who I thought it was. Was it Einstein? I don't think it was. Uh, who, who was the answer there? Uh, yeah, Ecolalia, the habit of repeating sentences. Could it have been Einstein who did this? The repeated sentences? No. What else we got here? A child, he experienced severe speech delay. So this person would take a long time to speak. Telling characteristics. What do you guys think? Answer is... Oh, okay, so it was Einstein. Uh, he only spoke when he was three years old. Okay, so there we go. It was Einstein. All right, it was right. It was just my guess. I had no idea. All right, we got. Let's do another one here. Uh, let's. I'm gonna find a big one. I'm gonna find a big answer here. Uh, Raghad got has one. So let me throw that one up there. Here we go. All right, so this one says he is a South African activist. So if you don't know this word, activist, an activist is somebody who, you know, for example, you know, uh, we shouldn't cut down trees, right? I uh, would be a, an activist. Or we need to make the water clean. That could be an activist. When you go on the streets and maybe you do the signs or maybe you give information, that means you're an activist. You support some ideas. Uh, so this person, he's a South African activist and a former ex, you know this word former, used to be president that helped bring an end to apartheid. Okay, we already talked about this guy. Uh, that's Nelson Mandela. I'm just going to write the answer right there because we did that one. Nelson Mandela. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, what's the next one? English classic writer, okay, a well, little, not very much information there. I'm going to take the ones with a lot of information. Nelson Mandela, all right. Hmm. Let's see, can I do, who's got the next one? 
All right, Albina's given this one. Uh, let's see what she's got. So let's do Albina's here. She's got the one who formulated a model of the universe. Oh, I think I know this one. So this person formulated a model of the universe that placed the sun. I think I, think I know the answer to that one. So a, per a person who formulated, created uh, mathematically, right? Uh, a model, a copy, you can think of a model here as a copy, imitation of the universe that placed, put the sun rather than the earth at the center of the universe. Can I get an answer, please? It's not Jesus. I guarantee it's not Jesus. He did not do that. Uh, who is this person? I think I know the answer, but I want to see if you guys know it. Who could this person be? Historically, I think you've learned about this person. I'm sure you've learned it in school. Who would that person be? Copernicus. I don't think so. What? Wait a second. Albina, what's the answer? Who is the person? Uh, the person who formulated a model of the universe that placed the sun, rather. Was it Copernicus? Really? No. Oh my goodness, I know nothing. I know nothing about history. I know nothing, Jon Snow. I have no idea. All right, I, I have to search this. Nicholas Copernicus. Man, I, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't the best student in high school. I didn't really pay attention. I was a Renaissance mathematician who formulated a model of the universe that placed the sun. Oh, good. Okay. So there you go. I learned something. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking Galileo, but uh, there you go. Just yeah, need to go back to school. All right. And maybe with the last one, maybe I'm going to introduce a famous person from Canada for you. And I think I'm going to introduce this person. Uh, so what you can also do is maybe you want to introduce someone from your own country. So I'm going to introduce you guys to Terry Fox. Do you know Terry Fox? Have you ever heard about this guy? This guy was really famous in the 1980s because he did, no it's not Drake, it's not hip hop, but this guy did a run across Canada and he was, he had a disability and the Terry Fox run, that's right. Uh, so here we go, let's look at a few photos. So this is him, and this is how he went across the whole country of Canada. Look at that police car, that's super old. Look at that. He went across the whole country of Canada running on one leg and one prosthetic leg. So not an easy task there. So you can see a lot of photos of him doing it back in. So his name was very big in the 80s. It's still big. People still do Terry Fox runs. Um, okay, so let's do a little, let's do a little introduction to Terry Fox and let's see what you there's a run in Vancouver you can do it here there's actually a statue in Vancouver maybe Gertrude has seen it uh, so let's see what can we do oh he was actually born near my hometown uh, let's see here let's can I see if I can get a short description of him mm hmm Okay, Sidney Crosby, yeah, that's it. Terry Fox description. Let's see if I can get a short one. All right, so here we go. There it is right there. So let me just pull that up. Uh, so just to learn a little bit about a Canadian. So what? maybe we'll do this as an activity. Yeah, he was disabled. So maybe you guys can do one for your country. We've got 10 minutes left. So maybe introduce someone. Do a search about your own country. So I'll start with mine. So uh, Terrence Stanley, Terry Fox, uh, was born, uh, he was a, ca no, he, he was a Canadian athlete, he was a humanitarian, so somebody who was working hard for other people, trying to raise awareness, and he was raising awareness about cancer research, so he was a cancer research activist, he was trying to get other people to become more interested in cancer research. In 1980, with one leg having been amputated, so here's a new word for you, amputated is when you cut off something. So he had one of his arms amputated due to cancer. He embarked, he went on, he embarked on a journey from east to west, cross Canada, run, to raise money, get money, and awareness, raise awareness, raise understanding for cancer research. So a pretty awesome guy. Everybody in Canada who grew up here kind of pretty much knows Terry Fox and what he did. So why don't you guys do the same thing? Can you please go? Uh, can you search someone? Search a famous 
or influential person from your country and present them to the class. Okay, so go ahead, find out a little bit about people, famous people in your own country. Find someone interesting, negative or positive, doesn't matter, and give us a little introduction to that person. What did that person do? Because uh, we used a lot of good vocab today to talk about all this stuff. So I'll try to put some of these back in there. Uh, we got lots of words here today, so many words. Uh, okay, historical, here we go. A trend, so there was that word we talked about as well. So while you guys are doing some research, uh, I'm going to put a few of these words back on your list here. A popular an activity. A popular activity that everyone follows. That was one word that came up. Let's see what else we got here. A uh, huge trend, innovative, was another word that came up, which means creative. Innovative. Oh yeah, Pele, of course. Uh, and last one, a good, good combination is raise awareness, right? Uh, you need to raise awareness about cancer. You need to raise awareness about uh, some issue, some problem. Raise awareness. So this is a good combination that you can use to talk about influential people. Uh, help people to understand. Good, very nice. Good words there. Uh, Munir had this one, that became the head of the Soviet Union, uh, the head of something. So that just basically means the boss. Uh, one more. Le led to. Started. Okay, let's see what Edgar's got. So he's going to tell us, teach us a little bit about Pele. So before we jump into Pele, let me show you a picture of Pele so you know exactly what we're talking about. So here we go for all the Brazilians in the house. Let's talk about Pele, who apparently kind of, some people think that he actually stopped the war. Uh, that's the man right there. I believe Pele might even have his own religion. Is that even possible? It's crazy, but I believe I've heard that before, that this man, who was a soccer god, might actually have his own religion because he was that good apparently best in the world right all right so let's read a little bit about Pele Pele is a Brazilian retired so not not playing anymore is a Brazilian retired professional footballer plays soccer football who played as a forward the not the offense position not the defense he is regarded, thought of, by many people in the sport, including football writers, players, and fans, as the greatest player of all time. Okay, so there we go. Pele, very, uh, a big icon. And there's a new word for you, an icon in Brazil. Like, everybody knows this guy and maybe respects this person, appreciates this person. Uh, incredibly famous person. Person and symbol. in a culture. Pele. All right, there we go. Let's do another one. Let's keep that photo up there. Uh, Julian's got another one. This person is an American professional stock car racing driver and team owner. He currently competes full-time in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. Uh, okay, so this is not definitely not someone from your country, but maybe the country you're living in. Who is this person? You can give us the name. It's uh, we're not we're the game is kind of over. We're just kind of introducing someone. Who is the person you're talking about, Julian? American professional stock car racing driver and team owner. I know a few names, but I don't really know too much about NASCAR. Uh, let's see. Sergio's got one. Uh, Manuel Elkin. I'm not going to say that. The Colombian professor of pathology and immuni immunology, immunology uh, who made the world's first attempt to create a synthetic um, synthetic artificial good word uh, synthetic vaccine against malaria okay synthetic not natural man-made created by man 
Okay, so there we go. There's a famous person, a Colombian professor of pathology and immunology, in the first attempt to create a synthetic vaccine, vaccination, right, against malaria. Okay, pretty important. Uh, Edgar Giselle, Giselle Bin Binchen yeah, is more beautiful. I agree. I've heard that. Uh, Julian says it's Kyle Thomas Bush. Anheuser Bush, is that a beer company? I'm not too sure. Lolly's got one here. Uh, General de Gaulle. 1890 to 1970 was a French general and statesman who led the French resistance against Nazi Germany in World War II. All right, a resistance. Good word. Let's add that one. So a resistance is when you fight against another group. So a resistance against, usually. A group uh, fighting against another group. Usually when you have a minority, it's the resistance, and the majority is, I don't know, the majority, but the resistance usually fights against the big one, right? So there we go, a general and a statesman. I don't know what exactly a statesman comes down to. Let me I'll have to Google that. Just, uh, what, a politician of some sort? Let's see, a statesman. Definition. Statesman. Is there a definition? Yeah, I did. A skilled, experienced. Okay, that's all I mean. This is weird. A skilled, experienced, and respected political leader or figure. Again, that word we were using today, political figure, or a figure in history, is a, just means person. Uh, so there we go. A skilled, experienced, and respected political leader is a statesman. Okay. There we go. Politics connecting to that, connecting to there. Okay, very nice. Uh, what else we got here? Let's do one more. We've got time for one more. Does anyone else have one? So a famous person from your country? No, it seems we might have run out here. Let's see if anyone else has one. Make that better. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just chat with the last little bit of time that we got here. Uh, this guy was, uh, I'll give you, I can give you another one from Canada. This guy was kind of important. Um, I don't know if, I mean, he's not Chris Hadfield, not Hemsworth. This guy, this guy is kind of cool. I, I don't know if he's, uh, I don't know how important he would be, but uh, he was he was pretty cool because he was sending a lot of videos from space and he was singing music and he was doing all these interesting talks around Canada. Chris Hadfield, and apparently he wrote a book which is pretty damn good. So there we go. Okay, you guys got a few more. Let's go here. Albina, he was a Russian writer who is regarded as one of the greatest authors of all time, one of the GOATs, greatest of all time. Uh, born in 1828, he is best known for the novels War and Peace, Peace, often cited as pinnacles of realist fiction. Goodness. Pinnacle is a top, the top of something. Uh, so is it always the pinnacle? As the pinnacle, uh, let's say a pinnacle. highest point. Okay, so go ahead and Albina, can you give us the name of that person? Um, a Russian writer, so uh, yeah, don't, no need to hide the identity, just uh, tell us who is this famous person. A Russian writer, one of the greatest of all time, there we go, best known for no, wars, no, war and peace. Yeah, war and peace, who wrote that? Am I right? Why, do, why am I thinking of an American person? All right, let's do one more here. Julian's got one. Malone was born in Sparks, Nevada, the daughter of Deborah, Debbie Malone, and Edward Birch. She was raised by her mother and her mother's girlfriend at the time, whom she has called uh, Godmom. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. That's it. Okay. Count Lev Tolstoy. I know this name. Usually referred to in English as Leo Tolstoy. Ah, that's it. Okay. There we go. That's who wrote War and Peace. Uh, okay, and Julian's here. Malone, I'm not sure who this was. Is Malone was born in Sparks, Nevada, the daughter of Debbie. Was raised by her mother. Mm, there we go. Good. Uh, raised by. Raised someone. Mm -hmm. Come on. Give me a break. Help to become an adult. 
All right, there we go. Okay, there we go. Very nice, guys. So we've had a pretty big chat about some pretty important people throughout history. There's a few words here. I didn't put all of them here, but I got a bunch of them, so that's all right. Uh, telling care severe. Let's, I might add that one. Let's add that one as well. Oh, man, there's so many. I'll leave those on there. But there's a lot of words here that I didn't even get to, but I, we did talk about them. Hopefully you still remember what they mean and how you can use them to talk about famous people. Let's talk about one more before we go. Oxo's got one. Uh, Yuri Alexeyevich Gargarin, uh, sorry, was a Soviet pilot and cosmonaut. He became the first human to journey into outer space when his Vostok spacecraft completed one orbit around the Earth in, on April 12, 1961. Interesting. I've never heard that before. That's an interesting one. Um, okay, so he created, he did the orbit. All right, there we go. I guess most people focus on going to the moon, but this guy did the orbit first, so he's the first one to do that. A big accomplishment as well. All right, guys, so that was a little introduction. A uh, little more serious today, a little... A uh, little more serious topic, for influential people around the world. So I hope you enjoyed that. We got it. We used a little bit of vocab uh, to talk about famous people around the world, what they did, why they're important, and lots of lots of good vocab used to talk about people like this. Opportunistic, a spy, womanizing. If you didn't know how to call it before, now you know how to say, oh, he's a womanizer. He was womanizing last night, talking to women. We, unfortunately, we don't have an officer. We don't have a manizer, but we do have a womanizer. Uh, so there we go. We did a little bit of research, talked about it, some famous people you guys were interested in. Very academic on a Monday, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, feel free to give me suggestions. Like I said, I kind of just jump in and I give some topics which I think will be interesting. Uh, I believe that Thursday is the appropriate time, actually, or Monday, to talk about Halloween. I haven't forgot about it. But I do want to talk about Halloween with you guys because it's an awesome, it's an awesome topic. It's an awesome thing to talk about. Um, I don't know if you guys are doing anything for Halloween, but we are next Wednesday. I've been working on my costume, which is going to be awesome. I will try to share some photos with you once it happens, maybe some videos. It's going to be quite awesome. I won't tell you what it is, but I can guarantee it's going to be awesome. So with that, I think that's it. You've all made it through Monday. The whole crew made it through Monday. Let's go back in the cafe, say goodbye to everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll be back on Thursday at 2.30 time, so don't forget to come back and check it out. We will be talking about Halloween. Maybe not Thursday, but maybe Monday. I haven't decided which one we're going to do, but we will talk about it because it's awesome, and I think everybody needs to experience it. One more finger point, and then we're good. That's it, everybody. We'll see you next time. Let's keep it smart. 2.30 on Thursday, we'll be back. Have yourselves a great week. Drink your coffee, and we'll see you there. Bye-bye.